こんにちは、ゆうこ先生です。今日のレッスンは、私のオンラインコースのサンプルレッスンです。Today's lesson is a sample lesson from my online course, Japanese 2 for Beginners. I'm going to talk about the difference between formal and informal speech in Japanese. What the functions are in each speech style and which one you should use in different situations. This online course, Japanese 2, covers many useful expressions that you can use when you visit Japan, such as, how much is it? Where is the restroom? Or, what time is the next bus? I currently have five Japanese courses, including Japanese 2. These courses are always available for sign up for the regular fee. But when you purchase the package of Japanese 1 2 5 You will receive a 35% discount. You can find the link to the package in the Shoma section below. The next course, Japanese 6, is going to launch this fall, 2020. When Japanese 6 gets published, this package of Japanese 1 to 5 will be no longer available for purchase. Please understand that this doesn't affect the current students in the package, okay? Once you have the package, you have unlimited access to it, even after the package closes for new signups. It's just that the package of Japanese 1 to 5 will no longer accept new enrollments when Japanese 6 gets published. So if you want the package, please get it soon before it's gone. I hope you enjoy the lesson. では、始めましょう。Before we get into all the grammar lectures for this course, let's talk about speech styles. This may be something that you may or may not have in your native language, but in Japanese, we have three different kinds of speech styles. They are informal or casual speech, formal or polite speech, and honorifics, meaning super polite speech style. We native Japanese first learn the informal, casual speech style. This is the speech style that we use towards our direct family members or close friends in the same age group. As a little child, we spend our days mainly、um, talking to our family members, usually the mother inside the house, or playing outside with friends in the same age group, right? That's why this is the speech style that we native speakers first acquire. Then you start going to school. Once you have become the first grader and then start going to the elementary school, then you will gradually learn how to use the polite, the formal speech to your teacher. You will start using this speech style to greet your neighbors on the way to school every morning or when you need to speak to your friend's parents when you visit his or her house after school. Basically, as you grow older, you will find yourself in a situation where you have to communicate with people who are not your family members, and as a result, you develop the skills of using this polite, formal speech style. This is why keep using the informal speech as a grown up makes you somewhat sound immature and childish. As many of you know, I teach at the college, right? And then sometimes my students in their early 20s come to me and try to use、uh, the phrases that they have learned by watching either Japanese drama or anime. And of course, they're in informal speech style. So, I have to explain about speech styles and tell them that as a young adult, especially to their teacher, they are not supposed to use the informal speech. Okay, honorifics. The most polite way to talk to somebody in Japanese. This is usually used in a business setting, and even native Japanese wouldn't learn how to use this specific speech style until they start working in the society. When you are speaking to your clients or customers, for example, you must use honorific speech. This particular speech style is quite complicated, 
And some companies even provide trainings for their employees to teach them how to speak properly in analytics. So we are not going to worry about analytics in this course, okay? Let's focus on either informal speech or formal speech. First, I'm going to show you how Japanese expressions are different between informal and formal speech. Okay, the first one. Yes. Um. Hi. No. Mm-hmm. Iie. Thank you. Arigato. Arigato gozaimasu. I'm sorry. Gomen ne? Or you can drop the ne at the end and say gomen. Sumimasen. See you. Mata ne? Or ja mata ne? Dewa mata. Delicious. This is an adjective. In informal speech. Oishi. Formal speech. Oishii desu. Will you eat? Meaning, would you like some? When you are offering something to somebody. This one involves Japanese verb, okay? In informal speech. Taberu? Formal speech. Tabemasu ka? They sound quite different between informal speech and formal speech, right? Again, it's okay to use informal speech as a grown-up as long as you use it to write people. Okay, these are the people that you can use informal speech. Your family members. Close friends in the same age group. For example, let's say you have a very close relationship with your co-worker who happens to be 10 years older than you. It really depends on the relationship that you have with this person, but I would stay with formal speech, just to be safe, unless she comes up to me and then says, oh, you don't have to be so formal with me, you know, please talk to me more casually. Then I will switch to informal speech. And of course, your partner, your girlfriend and a boyfriend, your husband and a wife, you use informal speech style to talk to them. Young children. As I explained already, in the early stage of our lives, this is the only speech style that we know. So when you speak to very young children, you have to shift and adjust your speech to informal style. People who are a lot younger than you and people who you don't mind showing your authority. With these two categories, I think it really depends on the speaker's personality. For instance, as a customer at the restaurant, it's kind of okay to use informal speech to talk to your waitress who appears to be a lot younger than you, right? Some people do that, but other people choose to stay with formal speech to show respect to the waitress, you know, who appears to be another grown-up too, right? So whether or not to use the informal speech to somebody that you don't know very well really depends on how you want to present yourself in the society. These are the positive aspects and negative aspects of using the informal speech style. On the other hand, the negative aspect of the formal speech style is that it makes you sound distant. This is why we don't use formal speech to talk to our family members, close friends, and our partners. In those relationships, the sense of closeness and intimacy are very important, right? And informal speech serves better to express those feelings. And of course, the positive aspect of polite speech is that it makes you sound mature, educated, and polite and respectful to others. Since I believe that most of you are old enough to have to sound mature, educated, polite, and respectful, in this course, I'm going to still focus on the formal speech style to keep you safe, okay?
However, you also have three lessons in this course about how to speak in informal speech. I made those lessons only because I thought it may help you to improve your listening comprehension, since many of you watch Japanese drama, movies, and anime. So, for example, in this course, you are going to learn how to ask this question in both formal and informal speech. すみません。今何時ですか今何時 Another example question that you are going to learn in this course is this one. Where is the restroom? Informal speech. すみません。トイレはどこですか In informal speech. トイレどこ Again, please be careful not to say トイレどこ to a stranger in Japan, okay? You are not going to give the best impression about yourself to the person. But if you are visiting a very close friend in Japan, of course you can say トイレどこ to him or her. The basic rule is to stick to the formal speech unless you are absolutely sure that it's okay to speak informally to the person. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Japanese too comes with lots of PDF materials that you can download. It also provides self-check quizzes to check your understanding of the course content. There is no time limit to complete the course, so you can learn Japanese at your own pace in your spare time. And of course, I will always be there to answer your questions and support your learning. Find all the information about the course in the show more section below. I look forward to having you as my student. ではまた次のレッスンで会いましょう。